some readings, readings, readings. Good morning, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is December 13th, 2020, and we're doing a comic book reading live stream. We have four comic books to choose from. Okay. Uh, we had five yesterday. We did a comic book reading yesterday and uh, we read Uncanny Tales number 30 from no 1955, right? And it was a great read from Atlas Comics, which was the uh, sort of the first uh, pre Marvel where they renamed it with Marvel. So it was edited by Stanley and there's a whole bunch of artists on there, including the Cares and Sid Shore and a whole bunch of other people. Okay. So we did that reading yesterday and today we got four comic books lined up uh, to have a read through and it's a great day it's sunday morning here at 10 a.m it is overcast it is raining it is dark it looks cold outside it's a little windy <laughs> we're sitting in a in a space where we got windows and whatnot and you can see the outside with the trees moving with the wind and we've got comic books picked to read like with the chaos in the world uh, this is a good place to be this is a good place to be really okay so while we wait for people to roll in let me give you guys the intro and tell you what this is all about because we're gonna get uh, notifications going out from uh, Discord and uh, Twitch. Okay, I'm here, Tony. How are you doing? Uh, great story. Great stories. We got great stories. Okay. Uh, now, as for who I am and what this is all about, I am on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho C H Y C H O. If you want to follow this work, Patreon is a great way to do so. Tony Bass, how are you doing? Hello, good sir. Hello, hello, and good morning, and good afternoon, and good evening, and all that jazz, right? Knights of Old Comic, how are you doing? Good morning, brother. Good morning. Is it all overcast where you are as well? Rainy, windy. It's nice. It's I love this kind of weather. Fall weather, winter weather. I uh, love love the summer, of course, the sun. But like I have the lights turned on, and you can see like shadow effect happening, right? So hopefully the light will be okay for the reading, right? Uh, we'll see, but it's pretty pretty overcast here. Rundle, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well, brother. Alex, hey Chicho, hope you're well, brother. Indeed, indeed. Uh, Glyphthenoid, absolutely massive bird in front of me. Nice, awesome. Nature is great. I have a little bird flying around on our patio. It's got like a red streak here, and then when it gets excited, the red streak pops up like a punk. Uh, I don't think he's around right now it's windy and cold so it's probably like cuddled up in its nest right i'm here tony we're good night in iran you're here in iran you're 12 hours you're set at 10 p.m like iran is on the other side of the world for me it's 10 p.m right now for you yeah can you read bugs bunny first <laughs> nights of old comic we got to do a poll we got to do a vote right so we run polls to see which one we're going to read and i'll give you guys i'll let you guys know what what we got going here we gave an intro yesterday and i'll give another intro today good day for a read great day for a read double o negative gravity of the situation hey chicho i was watching your reading of daredevil number one i'm curious did you get a good deal on that book i've been looking for it and it's so expensive uh gravity of situation i bought that book pre-netflix uh, daredevil hitting the scene right and i bought it in the last uh, like eight years and when i bought it it was graded at like five and i would agree with that it's got a little chunk missing from the front cover right um so i would i would agree with the five grading uh person i think was five or four or something like that and i bought it at the time for around uh, 450 canadian i know that is probably worth around 1200 to 1500 canadian now so as far as I was concerned, it was a good deal. Good. It was a, well, really on the way, way expensive side of what I end up buying usually. I don't, I think that was the most expensive comic I bought on eBay. Okay, good. Very early morning here. Early morning, Tony Bus. Wow, Griftonoid. 
great as far as i can see yeah same here cheryl how are you doing good morning good morning yep it's 9 36 a.m okay so you're 12 and uh 11 and a half hours cool cool or p.m sorry hey guys spider-man how you doing honestly got myself thorgar yesterday thorgar i've read thorgar i think thorgar the sort of space conan dude that's a little skinnier i like thorgar I think that's the one it's got to be the headline <laughs> this, <time>. this one <laughs> anyone who voted for bugs money bugs buddy uh elder god how you doing <laughs> fun what superman issue is that um it's uh this one is uh superman's girlfriend lois lane check this out here let me move this and i'll finish off my intro when i it's i'll show you give you a teaser superman's girlfriend lois lane number 70 first silver age appearance of catwoman Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. <laughs> the good comic spider-man i haven't read it yet actually well that's our good god awesome awesome dd number one equals great bill everett yeah yeah and Stan Lee and Jack Kirby had a had a part to play in making the cover as well, I believe. We got cheated yesterday, but not again. <laughs> Tony says. Gray, the gray, the gray ASMR. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome to another live stream, Amira. And uh, oh, you buy these books now? They're new then. Uh, new. There, uh, some of these, uh, this one, these two, we bought on a recent comic book haul in the last couple of months, two, three months, right? Uh, this one I bought in the last ten years, and this one I bought off the racks. I know the whole Batman canon, the whole Batman canon. Gang, we are live streaming on Twitch, Twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live, C H Y C H O L I V E. Mods, thank you for taking your business. Gang, thank you for the subs. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the discussion. And thank you for the support, as well as the gang on Patreon. Thank you very much for your support. And again, if you want to know what this is all about, uh, Patreon is a great way uh, to do so. I don't put anything in behind paywalls. Everything's Creative Commons, gang. Share and share alike. Okay. Tony, I was meaning to ask last stream, but do you have a poll list or... Uh, and uh ics you visit uh oh local lcs local yeah for sure i have a pull list on a local comic shop every uh every wednesday i go there I, I try to if i can make it every wednesday i go there and pick up my comics and i look on the racks to see what's new and if i can afford it i grab new things for sure for sure man these are the uh these are so new i like your gives me uh relax when i'm uh, reading my lessons awesome and by the way i'm here you can't post links you see the link but we don't see it it's just stars uh, only me and the mods are allowed to post links right so elder god's asking who's bane's father who's bane's father i don't know who bane's father is elder god do we know who bane's father is knights will go chicho what would the 10 year old chicho think if he knew he'd be doing this later in life uh knights of old comic uh not 10 year old chicho 10 years ago chicho would have never thought he's gonna do comic book readings live 10 year old chicho when i was in school i couldn't read out loud i would get the shakes uh, that's one of the things i detested about school i could never like whenever we had to do a reading out loud i couldn't do it like I would get dizzy i would get vertigo i would get the sweat like I, and i wasn't i i, I really wasn't self-conscious in a way of who was i was and stuff like this i just wasn't a good reader i had a little bit of dyslexia i've never been diagnosed or anything but i read words backwards and uh sometimes words just didn't have meaning to me and stuff uh and a school that would force you to read out loud and even at university i was like I hated it I hated it so I never thought I would be doing any type of reading out loud Jeez, what would you kidding me uh, but life does what life does sends you on certain paths and you just gotta embrace it right 
Hey, have you started assassination classroom? Assassination? No, I haven't started yet. I haven't started. I haven't found a dub version to watch yet. I want to watch it in dub. I don't want to watch sub. I don't want to watch anime with uh, uh, with subtitles, especially anime that has amazing dubs, right? What's on my pull list? A whole bunch of independents, uh, Valiant comics. The mainstream stuff I'm pulling, uh, like I'm pulling Monstrous, I'm pulling uh, all the Valiants, I'm pulling um, some uh, uh, anything related to Black, uh, black not anything related to Black Label, but some Black Label titles. I'm pulling Boom titles. Uh, I'm pulling, oh, I can't remember what's on my pull list because I stand on the racks and graph stuff as well, <laughs> right? So... <laughs> I'm pulling Daredevil right now. I'm pulling Daredevil right now. We got the new Electro Daredevil. Like Electro took on the role of Daredevil, so that was super cool. Great panel, right? So that was really cool. Lonely Piggy, how are you doing? I just say your stream. I love it. Awesome, Amir. I'm glad. Oh, King Snake. Next stream. War and Peace reading. War and Peace reading. I know. <laughs> if I can ever. Um, learn russian we'll read it in russian have you seen the marvel shows and movies that were announced each other? i saw some of them i saw loki loki looks great loki looks really good all right um thank god for the pirate bay <laughs> oh gift annoy you don't like assassination classroom i don't know people were raving about it uh not last stream but the stream before so a super chair marathon read for sure. A little long for my taste. A little long war and peace. I'm excited for Moon Knight the most. Oh, really? Is it they're starting a new series? Oh, the TV. I haven't seen the Moon Knight one. I haven't seen the Moon Knight trailer. I gotta look at it. Look is my girlfriend crush. Luki is your girlfriend's crush. Haha. <laughs> assassination classroom is an anime series uh you could read a, a phone book and i live i love your voice <laughs> gray asmr <laughs> i brutalized every name in that book except john smith cabani is my current fave cabaniri i don't know that one lonely because they've announced a series for moon knight but sadly no trailer or teaser oh okay i don't know if they even cast the actor yet okay okay cool yeah moon knight has been around like they've been t uh, talking about it uh for a while gang i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor lo minds vk gap and twitter and we do share additional content there as well we have a discord page you can come to our twitch channel anytime in the chat just type an exclamation mark social and all the links will be there and the link for discord will be there as well and there's a lot of people sharing a lot of information there Knights of Old Comic. Uh, there's a thing reading with Rover where kids read to, to dogs, build skills, and the dogs love it. Really? I've never heard about it. Alagoth, oh thank you. I've never heard about it. I I hate man, I love it now. I look forward to these comic book readings. Really, absolutely amazing. And the book readings. We're doing book readings. Chicho doing book readings. If you told any of my friends in high school and university this, <laughs> they they they'd say they'd say you're from Bizarro World. Tony, I'm still thinking about how cool the alien abduction story from yesterday's stream. It was it was awesome. Collector of collectors. <laughs> so I hope I don't get zapped. <laughs> there are a few really great programs like that for reading Cheryl awesome awesome uh, for live streams where we uh, where are we where we don't have any visuals we do upload the audio to SoundCloud as podcast and those podcasts will be available on your favorite podcasting platform including Spotify and iTunes hey Chicho Padre 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 how are you doing hey Chicho and friends just popping in to say hi, hi real quick I asked my co-workers from New York if he knew uh, Big Pond and he said he'd seen him uh, riding along on a scooter before he got famous. Really awesome, awesome. 
man big pun i got i got a soft spot for big pun man after watching that documentary and his album is amazing put headline on <laughs> nice well comments you should do a reading of the lord of the rings oh I, I i've read the series i've read the three books maybe book number two which is so slow it was brutal going book number two or lord of the rings uh, lots of descriptions lots of descriptions and free assange free assange free assange and we will be uploading this reading this live stream to both bitchute and youtube and if you're on those platforms you can support this work by subscribing joining turning on notifications commenting sharing and if you're on youtube uh there's a button here somewhere where you can join youtube membership and for those of you who join youtube membership thank you very much for the support lonely piggy chicho could do a bible reading on stream sometime i do have uh, my i do still have my bible from way way back in the day where I've taken notes in the Bible I believe I took notes in the Bible um, well, like my Bible that I've read I read a fair bit of the Bible actually some great stories in it uh, and an important book to read actually uh, at least parts of it uh, I thought it was uh, uh, it's interesting it's it set a lot of things in motion for our society so uh, it's good to get that perspective right uh, elder god golden age comics are like a uh, fine wine anything else is cheaper <laughs> can be here no way i disagree elder god <laughs> i disagree solar man of the atom number 10 is amazing let me take these things down let me take these things down like solar man of the atom uh this number 10 is like one of the it would be one of the greatest golden age comic book ever really uh read the communist manifesto haha <laughs> chicho imagine if you uh you will cool old trains kingdoms with uh 1980s era appeal and insane zombies climbing those trains and killing them with 80s era technology that would be interesting what's this reference to super influential to say the very least very least to say the very least just for today chicho just for well we got to do a vote we got to do a vote the heroes killing the zombies of course not the other way around the he heroes killing the zombies indeed propaganda to win the poll that's what we call chicho the two towers battle in the oh yeah that's right the two towers battle yeah the lord of rings is amazing but if i was going to do any type of reading i wouldn't do lord of rings for science fiction and fantasy i would do the death gate cycle really i think i would do the death gate cycle hangman 42 thank you for the follow and thank you for the follows and the subs gang should we give you a go through a lowdown helms deep lowdown of what we got here gang we got headline comics headline number 27 okay from 1947 i believe from 1947 from primes prize publications cover jack kirby joe simon whoa whoa <laughs> right and this character here is let me read this person's name stella may dixon right from the husband and wife gangster uh, like bonnie and cry uh, bonnie and clyde uh, benny and stella dixon right supposedly they were real time uh, bank robbers and uh you know thieves and whatnot right Dep depression era outlaws okay and we ended up getting this at a comic book hall in the last couple of months and headline comics number 27 and 74 together they were selling it a lot and we bought it for 66 canadian uh 52 dollars us okay elder god 1947 1947 tony only about uh talk about headline oh talk about headline <laughs> <laughs> nights will comic that what cycle i didn't uh catch what you said which cycle uh, oh death gate cycle death gate cycle it's a it's a seven issue fantasy series absolutely amazing death gate cycle margaret wise and tracy hickman fantastic 
That's not a real person. Oh, thank you, Graham. This one, Bugs Bunny Christmas Funnies. Bugs Bunny Christmas Funnies from 1954, I believe. Yeah, 1954. Okay, and it's a compilation. It's got stories from uh, Elmer Fudd, Porky Pig, uh, Sylvester, Tweety Bird, and uh, I think some other characters as well, right? So it is December, right? And we are coming up to Christmas. So Bugs Bunny Christmas Funnies from 1954, right? There's a whole bunch of people that have worked on this. And Dell Comics, uh, the publisher for this, the editor for this, Helen Hong Meyer was one of the first women uh, to be publisher of a major publishing house uh, in the United States, right? Very important. I never guess that that's from 1950s. Yeah, 1954. Look at it. It's in pretty good shape, eh? Not bad. Not bad. Beautiful cover. We got Lois Lane, Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane, number 70 from 1960, 1966. And it's the first Silver Age appearance of Catwoman, right? Very important book, a key book, right? And the artist for this is Kurt Schaffenberger, and the story is by Leo Dorfman. I'm just reading the names here, I'm probably brutalizing them, but it is what it is, right? Taco, how are you doing? Long time no talk indeed. Never guess that that's from that. And we got Solar Man of the Atom number 10 from 1991. This is the first print. Okay, it's black, so it's gonna have a hard time focusing on this thing. Ooh, okay. This is number 10. Okay. And this is the second print. Now, if this wins, we're going to read the second print. Number, the first print is in really good shape, and I really don't want to do too much damage to it because uh, it's uh, it's on the harder to find book, even though it's going for pretty damn cheap, man, as far as I'm concerned, because this is the first appearance of Eternal Warrior and uh, Geomancer, right? And Barry Windsor Smith art in this, Jim Shooter story in this, and it's the last there's two stories in this and the second story is the last story of alpha and omega which is sort of the origin of solar man of the atom which is extremely important and considered to be one of the greatest um comic book story arcs ever really anybody that's read this alpha and omega solar man of the atom number one to number 10 and number 11 is the full first uh, so our second full appearance of uh, Eternal Warrior, if you can think about it that way. Um, but and first appearance as on the cover, I believe. But Solar Man of the Atom from number one to number 10 is considered to be one of the greatest comic book story arcs ever. Really, it's at par with. It's different, but at par with the respect it gets as Watchmen, um, as uh grant um uh grant morrison's uh doom patrol as frank miller's daredevil as as many other great story arcs solar man of the atom one to ten if you guys haven't read it do yourself a favor and read it okay i have the poll you got the poll ready uh cheryl awesome with the headline in the top position is the best I can offer. Awesome, Cheryl. No rigging the elections. No electronic. Oh no, we do we do have electronic voting right now. Not much. How you talk? Oh, nice little comic. Chicho. It's hard to believe there was no Rudolph and Frosty songs until 1949 and 1950. Really, Disney took over uh, Christmas, eh? And Coca Cola, right? Santa Claus. The Santa Claus we have right now that looks like santa claus the chubby it was a coca-cola character for they use it for advertising right the true christmas reindeer and the christmas tree and the and the amanita mas, uh, mosquito mushrooms they come from scandinavia right very interesting the headline comic can protect you from covid 19 according so so a random scientist you have never heard of 
it's me, I'm, I'm the scientist, haha, <laughs> Tony, laugh out loud, Graham. For me, it's the spirit. The spirit, wow, wow, wow. Oh, thank you very much, uh, FTLBZ. Philippus? I don't know how to say it. Thank you very much for the raid. Appreciate it. But there was racism in it, sadly. In which one? In the spirit. Uh, yeah, a lot of this is... We're looking at... Gang, by the way, just so you appreciate the importance of these books, these are a snapshot from history, right? This is uncensored history. It, incredibly important. We've read some books which were mind-blowing, right? We read a science fiction book I don't, I don't there were some people here that were uh, in that uh, that were in that reading where they were t talking about technology and it was the atomic age right it was 1950s atomic age i think it was 1952 atomic age number one and when we read read that wow was it ever relevant right it really showed what technology could be and what it is back in 1952 with radars and automation and computer technology and ai it was mind-boggling it blew me away how amazing that read was right gang should we do the poll there's a whole bunch of people that rate us so i'm just going to catch up on chat really quick come that is distant memory for me but papa always shocking to hear uh taco nothing much the restaurant closed down i have a crush on my ex-boss oh wow I started a new job as a construction worker. I got Corona, recovered, and now I'm still working with, uh, but depressed because I can't hug out, uh, hang out uh, with my lady friend and friends because most places are closed down and I'm waiting for spring to come. Oh man, Taco, uh, I hope uh, I hope you're enjoying some nice live streams and downtime and nice books. Uh, grab some comic books read them man i think everyone's sort of in the same situation kebabs redeeming 1000 points that doesn't mean seem like nothing much taco uh, wind down and relax with us yeah wind down and relax tony australia perth australia we have been pretty much fully open since about may i think maybe june awesome oh well, let's allow this Automod grab something taco uh cheryl should we run the poll everybody yo are you ready for the poll are we are we ready for the poll chicho green across the board launch it you let's do it let's run the poll gang remember the poll is going to pop up on top of the chat you can click on the little arrow it'll pop up you get one vote make sure it counts make sure you're voting for what you want we got headline comics we got bugs bunny Christmas special. We got Lois Lane, first appearance of Catwoman, and we got Solar Man of the Atom, number 10. We got Bugs Bunny with three votes right now. Headline Comics with one, and we got Solar Man of the Atom with one. We got Headline Comics with four votes, Bugs Bunny with, uh, sorry, Bugs Bunny with four votes, Headline Comics with two, Solar Man of the Atom with two. We got we got headline comics at three and bugs money at four right now okay we're going to do a little adjustment and poor lois lane is not <laughs> out of the gates yet so we got we got we got we got bugs money four headline comics three solar man at the atom with two votes gang we're about three quarters uh, or a quarter of the way through uh the poll right now we've got about a you know a couple of minutes left so if you want to place your votes you place your votes oh look at this look at this oh no movement oh headline comics at four we got bugs bunny and headline comics no bugs bunny takes it over i think people might be sitting on votes just to make sure they come in at the end it's like an ebay auction going on here we got oh we got headline comics at five bugs bunny at five solar man at the atom at two I'm 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 not I'm not getting involved in these guys. I'm putting my vote in for Solar. Solar gets three votes, and then we got Bugs Bunny at six. Headline Comics at five. Solar gets four votes. Oh, we got a new player in the house. We got a new player in the house. We got Bugs Bunny at six. Headline Comics at five. Solar Man at the Atom at four. We got about a couple of minutes left, gang. So you can think about what you want. Headline comics from 1947, cover by Jack Kirby and Joe Simon. 
Bugs Bunny Christmas Funnies. Okay, from 1954. Lots of stories here with a lot of the characters. We got Solar Man of the Atom number 10 from 1991. First appearance of Eternal Warrior and Geomancer. Oh, we got Solar Man of the Atom tied with five with headline comics. The vote came in. We got Bugs Bunny at six. Headline and Solar at five and Lois Lane Catwoman. What? Sitting at zero. What's going on? They're not even out of the gates yet. Cheryl, where's the love? Where's the love? <laughs> we got we're sitting at six five five zero. Six oh there you go. Right on. Lois Lane get some love. Lois Lane get some love. We're down to the last 30 seconds, gang. We got last 30 seconds. Bugs Bunny at six. Headline Comics at five. Last few seconds. Solar Man of the Atom at five. Oh my god. Oh, Bugs Bunny takes it. Bugs Bunny takes it with five votes. We'll get to Lois Lane eventually. I can, yeah, for sure. For sure. Indeed, we're going to get to all of these, right? We got Bugs Bunny going on. We got Bugs Bunny going on, gang. Rock and roll, rock and roll. Look at this beautiful cover of Headline Comics. Look at this beautiful thing. Look at that. This is this is an amazing cover. Really. What a cover. Look at this one. Look at this one. Amazing, amazing for Silver Japan. And solar man of the atom number 10 just a black cover by and check this out barry windsor smith put this out brilliant and he signed it it's a just an all-out black cover with a barry windsor smith signature i don't know if you can see this there it is there's a signature right there <laughs> and barry windsor smith is one of the greatest artists of all time right uh you know full respect to barry windsor smith game Full respect to Barry Windsor Smith. Uh, and yeah, like amazing, amazing. <laughs> Cheryl, another fraudulent vote, goodness, traitors, Elder God says. <laughs> I voted headline, Graham, nice. Knights of Old Comic, duck season, duck season. <laughs> Tony, Chicho, you're just teasing us. What's up, Doug? What's up, Doug? Ha ha. Knights of Old Comic, Chicho, I, I, uh, I read by you of the original War of the Worlds, 1938 radio broadcast with Brother Knight, Knights of Old Comic. I've been eyeing amazing, ta amazing fantasy tales, amazing fantasies, uh, the pulp fiction books where the War of the Worlds was printed i've been trying to sort of it's on my radar right i forget what issue it is it's expensive if i get my hands on that we will do a reading of it guaranteed guaranteed but it's going for a few hundred bucks man um i it's i still think it it's a good buy but i'm on a budget <laughs> I can settle with Bugs Bunny, I guess, Tony says. Indeed. Sorlar looks insane, but my child is Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny. It's it's Bugs Bunny's season. Mel Blank is still a legend. Mel Blank, Mel Blank. Gray SMR, I knew I should have took what? <laughs> took took that right at Albuquerque. Took that right at Albuquerque. Ha ha, that's right. I'm here. Say hello to Bugs Bunny. Taco. I know from stories the early 90s were bleak and bored. Ah, oh, I don't know. No, no, no. Don't listen to the propaganda of people that say the 90s were not an amazing period for comic books. It was an amazing period for comic books. You just have to be buying the right comics, right? Also, when cars started to get boring, uh, uh, when cars started to get boring colors, shapes, and quieter engines today that's uh kicked up to 11 cars got boring and even more boring uh couldn't think uh, a group of high rollers would make cars like watching paint dry <laughs> no sure wow excellent that would be so cool yeah the war of the worlds by the way gang thank you for the follows okay apologies if i'm not catching them all i'm just trying to stay up with the chat and 
as we're gonna start the reading pretty pretty soon but I'll give us pass away in 19 uh, 2017 uh, no one can hate bugs bunny no I like bugs bunny I don't think he he gets he gets away a little too much especially in regards to Daffy Duck he you know messes with Daffy Duck a little bit too much and Elmer Fudd of course right amazing stories August 1927 yeah amazing stories uh, yeah it's expensive it's expensive Bugs Bunny cartoons were a Sunday afternoon thing when I was growing up me too me too gang should we do the reading let's do the reading i'm gonna if i hope the lighting is going to be okay with it it should be it's really dark here right now like really like it's what time is it it's like 10 30 and you're seeing shadow effect from, and i haven't turned on this one there's a light here that i can turn on but that's only on the bottom uh so i don't want to throw it off i rather the light was focused here when we do the reading Okay. unfortunately i can't hang out uh for the reading oh tony which sucks but i'll watch it on youtube when it's up i have to wake up in five hours okay go to sleep brother go to sleep enjoy the reading brothers i'm uh, i'm jealous of you all i hope you'll enjoy it once once i upload it okay bob gives me the bugs um we know today gang i'm taking down notifications let me take out notifications and we there's no way we can read all of it right we're gonna skip through things okay uh, read some of the stories in this and I'm, I'll keep an eye on chat and if there is a story that we want to read for sure if I'm gonna skip it just quickly comment I'm gonna turn on turn off slow-mo by the way uh, slow off I'm turning off slow-mo so it's gonna be real time I'll try to keep an eye on chat okay um, you too excited for when we eventually read headline yeah me too me too I thought it was my phone screen beer face yeah so uh, if there's a story that I'm about to skip that you really want to read uh, just post really quick on the chat and I'll catch it and we'll read it okay so I'm gonna take down the chat's not going to appear on the screen anymore but i have it open on my computer so i'll be able to see it so i'm going to take chat down boop, and i'm going to take this video down and i'll pop back in once we finish the reading game okay see you guys soon hope you enjoy the reading can you hear the rain seriously raining very nice very nice hi everyone welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book reading today is december 13th i believe sunday morning and we ran a poll we we're doing a live stream of this reading and we had four comic books to choose from and the chat decided that we we're gonna read bugs bunny christmas funnies from 1954 right and the cover of this comic and it's beautiful cover by the way the cover is by ralph hemdahl okay it's a painted cover and mel crawford did the inking and the colors for this so the pencils were done by mel crawford and i think it's supposed to be a painted cover so um but it might not be we'll see we'll see right and it's looney tunes right and there is uh there's a whole bunch of people that have uh worked on this comic book okay the artist ken uh chapin phil de laura fred abranza tony strobe tony strobe uh, actually is huge okay strobel tony strobel uh, Tony Strobel I'm gonna crack this open but one of the people that worked on this is Tony Strobel and he's he's huge in comics right uh, and a lot of these people worked on Dell comics Disney comics um, a lot of MGM and Hanna-Barbera and stuff throughout their careers uh, but Tony Strobel was around 
uh, when Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster, and these are from the golden age of uh, comics artists and stuff, he was around and he was friends with uh, Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster, and he put some feedback in uh, regarding Superman for Action Comics number one. And there's stories going around saying that he was actually approached by Jerry Siegel to work on Action Comics number one instead of uh, Joe Schuster or the other way around and he turned down that offer because he thought his cartoonist style of drawing comic books wouldn't be suited for Superman right so pretty pretty huge creator right the other people who are working on this is Vivi Ris Risto Gil Turner John Legera, okay, and just one other tidbit regarding uh, Dell Comics, and this is Dell Giant, and they put out a whole bunch of uh, different types of comics regarding different types of characters, Disney characters, Hanna Barbera, uh, Looney Tunes, and stuff like this. Uh, the publisher for this comic, for Dell Giants or Dell Publications, was Helen ha Honig Meyer. And she's considered to be the first woman to be uh, the sort of CEO, the publisher of a major publishing house in the United States of America. And she worked with Dell, I believe, from 1950s all the way to 1976. Okay. Look at that. Bugs Bunny stuck in a chimney coming down as Santa. <laughs> Porky Pig laughing his ass off. Sir Lester. What's Porky Pig's girlfriend's name? I forget Porky Pig's girlfriend's name. Huh? Very cool. Fun. And this comic book we picked up in a lot, by the way. In the last couple of months, it came with th three other Golden Age comic books giant uh dell giants uh and peter pan was in it and the bugs bunny one was in it and i think mickey mouse was in it and another one and we got those at a ridiculously amazing deal what an amazing deal and this is uh this i would grade at least a five right look it's got a couple of dings there right at least a five five and a half okay petunia pig someone says petunia pig <laughs> porky pig's girlfriend cute awesome fun nice cover very peaceful right but we know there isn't it's not very peaceful we know it's not going to be peaceful there's going to be chaos going on here right and there's a whole bunch of stories here gang dell comics are good comics let's take a look at this thing tweety's christmas riddle oh do you guys want to read a riddle let's read a riddle check this out tweety's christmas riddle Tweety's Christmas riddle. What's Tweety's Christmas riddle? Tweety's watching anxiously for something, but he would like you to guess what it is. So just identify the objects and find the correct letter in each line. Write the letters in the spaces provided below and they will spell something. No, Siri. You f oh, it's not going to tell us. They will spell no siree you find out and it's a great thing that no one wrote on this right it makes the comic book worth more <laughs> thank you whoever bought this originally that you didn't write on the comic book so let's check this out what's the riddle what is this take a look uh, my first is a horse but not a uh, hose Let me try to get this focus. So, my second is a 
seal but not a salt not in salt oh that's what it is so my first is in horse but not in hose so that's an e right no horse oh no is that correct you guys figure it out gang my second is in seal but not in salt so i'm assuming that's an e my third is in is that butter bird is that a butter what is that ice bird butter bird maybe my third is in i don't know what that is and also in bird oh my third i'm reading this incorrectly my third is in butter and also in bird so i'm assuming that's a b maybe my fourth is in nose but not in rose my fifth is in bed but not in b my six is single what my six is single in kite and double in <laughs> what is that <laughs> i don't know what that is kite and double in cake no iron heel oh heel kite and heel maybe my seventh is three times in um uh, what's that called uh tp and double in what is that wheel so my seventh is three times in tp tp so e and double in wheel okay so that's got to be an e my last is in roof but not in hoof so here's the question i i live way up north <laughs> and i work once a year but my work is important i'm santa we know what this is santa claus but wait a second claus is it eight letters santa Sa oh santa's helper helper santa's elf no reindeer oh santa's reindeer yeah 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 i'm santa's reindeer <laughs> we could have probably figured that out without reading the hints funny funny reindeer nice nice little puzzle cute to check your answer here they even provide an answer to check your answer see the last page of this comic book should we take a look let's see how they present the answer <laughs> answer pro. last page oh there it is here it is Tweety's Tweety's Christmas riddle Santa's reindeer we win we win yay <laughs> so fun let's read the fine print gang before we get into this this is a really good uh, really this is in fantastic condition I would give this uh, at least a six gang as far as great wise goes at least six six point five probably let's see what this is bugs bunny christmas funnies number five 1954 authorized edition published by dell publishing company incorporated 261 fifth avenue new york 16 new york george t de la corte jr president helen oh helen meyer at this time was vice president albert p de la court and i believe uh, it, helen would have uh, taken on the editor position uh, albert p de la corte vice president single 
copies 25 cents 30 cents in Canada copyright 1954 by Warner Brothers cartoons incorporated world rights reserve printed in the USA designed and produced by Warner uh, Western printing and lithography company and Western printing was printing at one time in the golden age of comics like millions of comic books like really we read the uh, jingle jangles uh, from that period and uh, they were actually producing comic books as well so there's a whole bunch of stories here gang and we're gonna start reading this is a fantastic copy look at this what a beautiful copy yeah this the grade on this book is going higher this is at least a 6.5 at least very nice 6.57 really let's have a read gang let's have a read of some stories Warner Brothers Cartoons Incorporated presents Bugs Bunny I've got you covered so March Hare March Hare at Christmas time that doesn't sound right Doc Bugs Bunny says let's take a look at how Bugs Bunny was drawn in 1954 hey, come on. cool he looks a uh, little uh, little different than present day Bugs Bunny eh? at least my children will have rabbit stew for Christmas it's better than nothing he says isn't Santa Claus coming to your house Bugs Bunny asks the old man of the mountain said there's not going to be any Santa Claus this year because he's going he's going to stop him oh now get going rabbit is that where you left doc bug bunny asks yes and these are my children he says hi you kids bugs bunny says why it's bugs bunny oh the kids know who bugs bunny is it's bugs bunny get the stew pot ready no no we love bugs bunny the kid says what up doc go <laughs> and that's the file number i guess for it right there right he wanted to eat bugs bunny listen kids go in and hang up your uh, stockings because Santa Claus is coming tonight Bugs Bunny says hooray Santa is coming tonight Bugs Bunny said so he wouldn't fit to us the kids are going in that was mean you know he isn't coming oh yes he is Bugs Bunny says where can I find this old man of the mountain? Bugs Bunny's angry. He's going after the old man. He's at the top of the top of Bleak Mountain. But what are you what are you aiming to do? The guy asks. He and I He and I have a little matter to straighten out. See you later, Doc. Bugs when he's marching out. Top five thousand feet. Whew. Five thousand feet climb. He must be a tough old boy to make this climb. Whew. Bugs when he says. Oh, he's got a castle up there. Scram! Keep out! Get! No trespassing. 
He doesn't want anybody interfering with them. Say, his house looks like a fortress with water all around it. Oh yeah, he's got a little moat there. Look at that. Cool. Oh, look at that. Look at these uh, logs are here. Uh oh, I don't think those are logs, bugs. Look at that. Yep. Look at that. Look at that. Uh oh. Hmm. Funny looking uh, bark on these logs, too. Oh. Crack. Eek. A crocodile. Oh, he almost got his tail bitten off. Works. And I'm standing on another one. Uh oh. Hello again, Buster. Bugs is gonna pull a scam. Won't you say stay for a bite? Haha. -ha. Chomp. Pull the tail of the other crocodile up. Ouch! Tsk tsk. What a pity. His best friend too. Youch. Youch. Oh, hold on. We got a couple more panels to go here. Almost turning a page too early. I can't tell a lie. He bit you. Uh -huh. Growl. The two crocodiles are fighting now. All ashore. That's going ashore. He he. Bugs made it. Let's see who's living in the castle. Let's see who's living in the castle. Looks like an old man, old doctor or something. Let's check this out. It's not Yosemite Sam. Someone was uh, mentioning. Now, we'll see what the Santa Claus hater has to say for himself. Oh, Bugs Bunny wants some answers. I sure hope, sure hope he's home. Ring. Ah, oh, he's got a bone to pick. <laughs> Little trap door opens. Floof. Yikes. Hey. Bugs Bunny zooming. Oof. Season's greetings, rabbit. <laughs> nice. So, you're the old man of the mountain, eh? Yes. But tell me, how did you get past the crocodiles? He wants to know. Oh, I just introduced them to each other. <laughs> You're a clever one. What do you want here? The old man asks. I came to find out how you intend to stop Santa Claus tonight. That's easy. Follow me, he says. Bugs Bunny's still very angry. Look at that. You see, I'm going to corner the Christmas toy market and sell all the dear children in the world their toys at Christmas, but first I've got to get rid of Santa Claus. <laughs> they should have Bezos' face here. <laughs> Actually, he sort of looks like an older Jeff Bezos, doesn't he? Funny. You're wrong, sir, because there will always be a Santa Claus, Bugs Bunny says. Not after tonight, he <laughs> he. What's that? Bugs Bunny asked. That looks like a cannon. Look at that. Serious business. It's my new vanishing ray gun. Oh, a ray gun. One shot and poof. Santa and his reindeer disappear forever. Neat, huh? Uh -huh. You. I don't like. I suppose you're going to stop me, the old man says. Oh, look at Bugs Bunny. Yes, because I am Bugs Bunny. 
does that strike a note of fear in your villainous heart he's pissed <laughs> he gets bonked bonk not specially the old man says Doosh. clicks i'll have to get rid of him he knows too much the old man says <laughs> see where this is going oh where is he taking bugs i know i'll use him in my toy department oh he wants to put him to work look at that meet crestview my toy maker yipes omsk that's a big gorilla crestview you may use this <laughs> his fur for our bugs bugs bunny dolls his teeth for toy piano keys and his big ears for airplane wings yikes have fun uh oh bugs is about to get dismembered uh er hello crestview what do you hear from what did what do you hear from the jungle Oh, look at that machete. That was a serious knife. Bugs is looking all cute. Take another step, you big ape, and I'll fire. He grabs some guns. I'm pretty sure they're toy guns. Bang. Haha. <laughs> Take that. Oops. Oh, Bugs was actually going to shoot him. Omsk. Ha <laughs> ha. The gorilla says oh and he's off can't we talk over talk this over rabbit rabbit to gorilla the gorilla's chasing him wow look at this comes across a toy army aha the art the army to the rescue push remote control button and army will attack hmm sounds simple charge <laughs> off they go look at that i want some of these toy soldiers we never had these guys oh youch oh look at that oh wow the gorilla jumped out the window he's like jumping to his death or into the into the crocodile pit crestview where do you think you're going the old man's pissed he's like what's going on oh well like they say never send a gorilla to do the work of an evil old man crush all right rabbit where are you the old man says we should call him Bezos says look at this lots of toys here that's a big I'm in here doc Bugs Bunny is like large size train tracks where I can't see you the old man says he looks in the tunnel Woo -woo. that's a nice huge train Woo -woo. smack uh -huh. yo -hoo. here i am duck bugs bunny says i'll tend to you later it's almost midnight and Santa's due any second. He's gonna go kill Santa. Now, for my vanishing ray gun. Ha <laughs> ha. Hold still. I'll take your picture first. Bug says. Uh -huh. Boink. There. Click. boxing glove comes out of the camera punches the old man in the face 
out of my way rabbit I've got to get to that ray gun before it's too late marbles oh marbles marbles love marbles they could be very dangerous they could be very dangerous right have a marble game pops spills the barrel of marbles this old man is gonna wipe out hey oh goes on a slider Bloop. look at bugs's face haha <laughs> help where is it gonna land where is it gonna land where is it gonna land bugs bunny knows let's see right about here plaster oh my spludge hurry santa hurry santa's out there he's making it he's gonna make it on prancer on vixen Hey, Santa's supposed to have 12 reindeers, I think, isn't he? That would only make it six if he's got two on each side. Uh-oh, slam. The villain just ran into that room. The vanishing ray gun room. Uh-oh. He's about to take down Santa. Bad Bezos. Bad Bezos. I'll stop him with this toy airplane and beach ball. Really? Beach pail, not beach ball. What's he gonna do? It's like an igloo. Oh, he's flying on the plane. If I can t cap the gun with this pail, the vanishing ray will work in reverse. It's genius, I tell you. <laughs> Bugs Bunny's genius. Yippee, I did it. Bugs Bunny says. And one push of this button and puff. No more Santa Claus, Jeff says. It worked. The whole place vanished and Santa got, got through safely. Oh, Bezos went pink. Ho ho ho, Merry Christmas. Ho ho ho, Merry Christmas, Santa says. Yeah. And everybody had a good time. Look at all the presents. Christmas morning, jingle bells, jingle bells. Go, go. Look at this. And Bugs Bunny there singing with them. Christmas story. Right. That's cool. Looks like take a look at this. Looks like none of the puzzles are filled in. This is great. Fur coat for Bugs Bunny. That'd be crazy if someone had written down fur coat from Bugs Bunny. Let's see what this says. Let's make Bugs a new fur coat. Really? How does that work? Let's make Bugs a new fur coat. It's a lot of fun and easy too. You will need two different colored strands of knitting yarn, some glue, a piece of cardboard, and a pair of scissors. First, glue figure one to cardboard. So this is, we're gonna glue Bugs Bunny. Glue figure one to cardboard and cut it out I think you need to cut it out first and then glue it next take the two different color colored pieces of yarn and measure and cut two strands each three feet long now cut these strands into tiny pieces and be sure to keep the two piles of little pieces separate cover the areas marked a with glue 
and attach bits of yarn and one color. When that has dried, cover the areas marked B with glue and follow the same procedure using the other colored yarn. When you have finished gluing the gun, only the eyes, nose, mouth, and teeth will be left uncovered. Now glue figure two to cardboard and cut it out. Fold on the dotted line and glue part B to back of figure one so bugs will be able to stand up. To add whiskers, just pull a few short straws from a kitchen broom, straws from a kitchen broom and glue them to, to yarn on each side of the nose. Golly, bugs will just love his be yo beautiful new fur coat. I could make heads or tails out of that. <laughs> That's instructions. <laughs> Cheryl says no parental supervision required. <laughs> Funny. Funny. Porky pig story. Let's read a porky pig story. Right on. Porky pig is a nervous little guy. Porky pig. Let's do porky pig. So Warner Brothers cartoon, Porky Pig. Porky Pig's gonna learn to fly. Oh my. All right, Porky. Are you ready for your fir first solo flight? I hope so. Did you warn him about backwards uh, canyon? The guy's yelling over there. And if we're gonna do Porky Pig, we gotta do this. Did it? Did it? That's all, folks. <laughs> I used to love that. Did it? Did it? Did it? That's all, folks. Oh yes, Porky. Above all, don't go near Backwards Canyon. Okay. Control tower to Porky Pig. Either take off or clear the flight strip. Right. Oh, look at that. But what about Backwards Canyon? Make sure you stay away from it because, because, oh, he doesn't know, he doesn't know. Later, in flight, zzz, there's a vulture flying. I sure wish I could have heard what he was trying to tell me about Backwards Canyon. Porky, Porky Pig says, oh, he just fried the vulture. Yow, I'm scuttered, scuttled. Oops, Beaky Buzzard, sorry, Beaky. Porky just ran over the bird. The buzzer's not gonna be happy. Now, see what you've done? You knocked me off my course, Porky says. What happened? Seems like the plane is sort of standing still. Could it be standing still? What's this? Oh my gosh, now we're going backwards. Oh, this must be backwards canyon with the winds, eh? Hold on tight, Beaky. Oh, and the buzzer's holding on to the plane. Oh, golly, we're not making any headway. We're still going backwards. Uh oh, Porky's in trouble. Is he flying backwards still? No, he's not flying forwards. Whew. Better land until the wind blows over. He's just landing on a road. Ha, huh. I saw you. You're under arrest for reckless flying. Oh, is he a cop? What is he? Reckless, but Porky says, who is this guy? Don't you know better? Better to land the plane front forward? Haha. <laughs> You're going to jail till you can learn to do things backwards like you're supposed to backwards 
Porky asks. What? This is Backwards Canyon. Beaky, this must be a backwards valley. Well, it's sure not frontwards. Folks that live here know better. Ah, he's riding his motorbike backwards too. Look at Beaky the wizard, he's just laughing. But won't you at least look forward so we can see where we're going? Look at him go. Ha, who wants to? We'll soon be there anyway. Uh -huh. What's this? What's this? Let's read the sign. So you're now entering backwards at, at Valley. No other town can make that statement. What's going on? People walking backwards? The jail's down. The other end of main street main street but all the buildings are facing the other way <laughs> of course who would want to face a main street like this <laughs> and a lady tipping her hat to a man porky asks what's going on everything's backwards oh a cat chasing a dog yep and look at a cat chasing a dog the buzzard says jeepers everything's backwards or opposite no wonder they warned me about this place i kind of like it except i can't figure out which way is sideways <laughs> this guy looks drunk okay here's our jail this guy says he walks in a clink and you're not gonna get me out of here no matter what you say you in jail so he locks himself in everything's backwards it's like bizarro world let's see if this will focus but you're arresting us we should be in don't try to tell me my business stranger the guy says heh <laughs> well anyway it's one thing I like about your town Humph. going forwards I ought to pinch him for reckless walking uh -huh. well what do you know pictures even their election posters are put up backwards we better watch our step beaky remember do everything just the opposite of what you would usually do just the opposite eh vote for those sign is upside down too hear ya hear ya announcing the results of the election for mayor who's he talking to the wall Vicky asks Shh, it's just their backwards way of doing things everybody in town got one vote except except <laughs> those two those two strangers no votes then they're both the new mayor <laughs> us oh no that's funny time magazine uh, magazine person of the year right there president and vice president <laughs> for 2020 my god this thing's political and economics we'd have gotten some votes too we just haven't voted yet we'll vote now do you mean to say you don't want to be our mayor yes porky pig says what's going on here let's check this out 
And so, did we miss a page? No, I think that's right. He's saying yes, and then. Doop. And so, of all the silly ideas, in the mayor's chair, face to the wall. <laughs> yup, it's wonderful. At last, I'm half a mayor. Haha. <laughs> Well, I'm the other half, and the first thing I'm going to do is try to straighten out these silly people, Porky says. Just because years ago, somebody named this valley backwards, they didn't have to live up to it. So half the mayor calls, in a, calls a town meeting, and that's why I think you ought to try doing things forwards for a change. Forwards, everyone's facing backwards. The very idea, what's the world coming to? They're all complaining, but try it. Try turning around when you talk to each other, Porky says. See how much nicer it is talking face to face ah uh, this is nicer They're looking at each other freaking out but nonsense young fella this proves backwards is better why if you get bored bored with someone you just leave and it doesn't hurt his feelings at all he doesn't even know you're go you're gone huh porky's all confused what a wacko place but fellas porky says and look how how it improves a good man uh a good man-to-man -man fight nobody gets ever gets hurt uh -huh. look at that they're punching air But backwards living won't get you anywhere. You'll never make any progress. Oh, is that so, he says. It just so happens we have a huge scientific research de department. Here he comes now. Oh, they're walking backwards in. I've got it. Come on, everybody. It's ready to demonstrate. What's ready? Porky asks. What? Why? It's the solution to the traffic problem all over the world. Golly, Porky says. Look at them. They're all scooting along really fast. We've uninvented the automobile. Ha <laughs> ha. The buzzer's all confused. What? uninvented it yep with my new gimmick watch the car won't work at all what's the gimmick <laughs> original reset <laughs> so cheryl says in the live stream <laughs> seriously this is like 2020 reset everything my god wonderful is bound to be safer that way indeed lots of lives saved lock everybody down no more speeding yep see it doesn't do anything haha <laughs> boom and it explodes just the way the great reset is going to do boom. bam pow boom explosion Ho oh, ho, it doesn't do anything, but it sure does it loud, the buzzard says. Yes, Homer's a real live wire. Ha ha, his name is Homer. Next next week, he's going to uninvent electric lights. Then we won't have to pay electric bills anymore. Ha ha ha. 
Last year, he uninvented dishes. We don't ever have to wash any dirty ones now. Of course, we mess up a lot of tables. <laughs> but, but at this rate, you'll just keep going backwards till you end up living in caves, Porky Pig says. Tish tush, who cares, who cares? We'll all be looking the other way. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> living in denial i give up we've got to get away from here beaky what a backward society wow are you talking backwards now or frontwards porky i'm so confused i really don't know porky says if you could speak if you could speak if you could sneak away first and get the plane engine warmed up porky says warmed up it's a cinch porky i'll warm up that that old airplane engine don't worry i'm an expert flyer you know gulp porky thinks oh me now to keep them from realizing what we're up to backwards even oh he's flying backwards they're always looking backwards they'll stop me <laughs> me sure unless i can think of something oh they're all looking at him now look at that i've got it why can't i issue an official pro proclamation i'm the mayor what's he gonna what's he gonna say so a proclamation by the new mayor don't worry don't worry chums I'm putting it up backwards and upside down so it'll be easy to read upside down too the guy asks now we are getting somewhere someplace everybody who wants to read it had better get on get up on his head and now they'll be too busy to worry about me and Beaky. what does it say what hmm they're all upside down trying to read it i'm getting it it says notice from mayor i have just uninvented feet better forget about about using yours how terrible they say I just bought this new pair of shoes he's just trying to get us to use our heads the guy says hurry up porky the engine's warming up pretty good oh no he's lit fire on it stop i didn't say burn it up uh oh uh oh i meant start it up hurry climb in oh he's jumping in the sooner we get we get back home the better i'll like it and he's flying forwards now okay but i'm gonna show those smart uh al alikers we can uninvent things too beaky says if i un uninvent this airplane then we can't ever come to the dumbbell places like this anymore oh what's he doing he's pulling the string out of the wiring out no beaky stop those are control wires uh oh beaky's not the smartest uh vulture around stop beaky leave the wires alone give them here please well okay he says suit yourself chum 
but some folks are sure hard to please just letting go of the wires look the plane coming in it's porky he's back good grief he can't land stunting like that look at him he's just like whirling 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 oh maybe he can't uh -oh. but he did he landed it backwards did he yeah he did he landed it backwards backwards nice these guys are happy porky what a landing imagine anybody doing a thing like that backwards don't worry I can imagine it porky says whatever possess you to try it boy I don't know it I they err Porky is about to pass out you see I tried to keep frontward not backward but I got to thinking that frontwards was just backwards and he's all confused look at that oh never mind from now on I'll just I'll just stick to sideways <laughs> funny funny interesting Tweety and Sylvester we're gonna read a Tweety and Sylvester what's this one Cyril surprises this guy I think we'll skip this one after the Christmas tree was decorated uh, petunia piggy tucked porky into bed oh maybe we're <laughs> read this into bed and turned out the turned out the lights but porky had other ideas he sneaked in to the living room and hid behind a chair or a couch his sock hung his sock hung over the fireplace and he waited for santa to come down the chimney soon the clock struck 12 but no santa porky was very disappointed as he climbed back into bed when Por porky awoke next morning he looked again maybe maybe he thought i didn't wait up long enough but his sock was still empty why don't you try try the den uh, laughed uh, petunio porky and sure enough there hung a sock filled with filled with what candy and apples candy and apples for you see the house had two fireplaces and and two chimneys santa had just outsmarted porky <laughs> cute that was easier to read than i thought this is a sylvester story sylvester and tweety let's read it might as well read the stories as we come come across them right we'll read the one story from each of the characters so let's have a read through this warner brothers cartoon incorporated presents tweety and sylvester the job is yours, Sylvester, and here's your uniform. Toy department. Sylvester's getting a job. Nice. He looks so happy. Whoop. Look at that. He looks very happy. 
just a sec boss I'll slip into it dressing room Santa Claus helper reporting for duty sir get to your post the boss says nice and what do you want what do you want Santa to bring you Sonny an electric train and a bicycle the kid says okay Sonny who's next Sylvester asks hello Santa Claus it's Tweety uh -oh. I want a pair of roller skates choo-choo train toll soldiers rag doll oh brother Sylvester says scooter crayon set building blocks hobby horse storybook he just wants it all eh look at that toy sewing machine modeling clay <laughs> Sylvester's taking to and put him in a sack I think I'll have you for Christmas dinner haha <laughs> Sylvester says oh Tweety came out of the hole look there's a hole in the in the bag at the bottom right so Tweety flies out of there see Santa Claus has a hole in his bag uh oh okay who's the next kid Sylvester asks Tweety flies around and a pogo stick toy uh, tractor toy <laughs> Tweety talks like that toy tractor painting set oh Sylvester's like wait a second will you shut your trap a puzzle a sculpturing set sled Sylvester's chasing Tweety going up zip goes into the elevator look out Santa Santa Claus the doors are closing uh oh Oof. crank Sylvester's head gets stuck in the elevator no safety mechanisms there ah oh, he's stuck pops his head out I'll take the stairs and beat him up there haha <laughs> he's got a big grin on his face tweet oh tweet he's coming out of the elevator uh, I hear him in the elevator oh crap now I got you cornered in the elevator and an airplane watercolor set Tweety saying yay no elevator toy steam roller uh, chemistry set Tweety just keeps on going he just wants the stuff microscope bow and arrow all the way down movie camera cowboy suit what are you doing off the job the boss says oh poor Sylvester his, his head is her missing stars look at that uh oh look at that <laughs> the boss is pissed you get back to your post grabs Sylvester by the collar throws him on the chair and stay there bang oh, look at this Tweety's back space helmet telescope he's still giving his list will you stop it Sylvester says finger painting set 
Wait until I get my hands on you, Sylvester says. Tweety's just flying around. Uh oh. What's gonna happen now? Oh, they're just fly zooming around the pu pillar. Zoom, 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 zoom. Huh? Where did he go? Screech. Stop. Thank goodness I finally got rid of that pest. Okay, who is the next kid? Sylvester says. <laughs> Tweety's in his beard. Pair of ice skates, space gun. Okay, okay, finish your list and get it over with. Hockey stick, baseball glove. He's just going, going, going. Oh, we got a couple more. Five. One hour later, bicycle, toy machine gun, football, but most of all, Santa Claus, I want a sweet little buddy hat. Putty hat. Sweet little putty, putty tat. Putty tat, huh? What's a putty tat? Putty tats. Oh, putty cats. Pussy cat? It's gotta. It's gotta mean pussy cat. Sweet little pussy cat. Huh? Well, well. Sylvester says I think that can be arranged oh goody Tweety says now you go home and Santa will bring you a pussycat on Christmas Eve yes indeed bye bye Santa Christmas Eve now to get that bird smack smack Sylvester's hungry. He'll make a lovely Christmas dinner. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's Santa Claus. Santa, let me in. Sylvester says. Oh, no, Santa Claus. You can't come in the front door. You have to come down the chimney, Tweety says. That bird gives me a big fat pain, Sylvester says as he grabs a ladder. Climbs onto the roof. Goes to the chimney. Hmm, this is gonna be a tight squeeze. Sylvester says come on down Santa Claus help I'm stuck in the chimney Sylvester says oh this is terrible terrible Santa Claus can't get down the chimney and and bring me bring me my putty cat I'll have to help him so Tweety Bird flies outside. Don't worry, Santa. I'll help you get down the chimney. Pounce, pounce, pounce. Pumping on his head. It's no use, Santa Claus. I'm not heavy enough. Tell Sylvester. But here's a loose brick in the chimney. <laughs> Ouch. Clank smacks him on top of the head. Crash falls down the chimney. Where's my putty cat, Santa? Sylvester asks. Grr. Sylvester's piss. Oh, 
Santa is mad. And he chases Tweety Bird. Tweety Bird, we're around the door. The door open, crash. That's a nice crash panel. Crash, zip crash. Sylvester C. Stars. Boink. And he flies back. Uh-oh. Haha, <laughs> he lands in the stocking. Look at that. That Tweety Bird comes. Oh, I'm so happy. Santa did bring me a putty tat. Funny. Whenever I used to watch the Sylvester and Tweety videos, I always, just like the Roadrunner, you always hope that Sylvester would catch Tweety Bird. Here's another thing. Personalize your Christmas card. Look at that. Elmer Fudd. Haha. <laughs> And there's Daffy Duck there too. Nice. We got to read this one. I think this is going to be the last story we read. Jeez, there's so many stories here. Let's check this out. Let's check this out. And then there's a Bugs Bunny story again, which we've seen. Oh, there's Petunia as well. Look at that. Let's flip. Oh, look at this. Henry Hawk. Oh, this is the hawk. The chicken hawk that catches the big chicken, the rooster. What's his name? That cartoon is crazy. Where he's always trying to eat the chickens. Look at that. Which one should we read, gang? Foghorn, that's right. Foghorn is the is the rooster the chicken hog is always trying to eat, right? I don't see foghorn here. Oh look at this, the little mouse thing. This guy, I don't this guy is Disney. Mary Jane Sniffles. Oh, yeah, that's right. Foghorn. I said, I said, I said, boy, what are you trying to do? I'm going to catch myself some chickens. I'm a chicken hawk. <laughs> Hilarious. I swear, this is from Disney. But it's uh, part of Warner Brothers at the time. I think there's an animated movie with this with this mouse. Right? What's this one? Oh wow, look at this one. Poncho Vanilla. Poncho Vanilla. Let's read Poncho Vanilla. I don't know this character at all. Let's read a character we don't know about. And a Porky Pig story. Let's read Poncho Vanilla, guys. And this is like Porky Land. Circus. <laughs> Poncho Vanilla. Should we read Poncho Vanilla? Porky's memory mix up. Look at this. These all these are really nice pages. Seriously, this is a great uh, great comic in really good shape. There's Porky Pig. Porky Pig. We got Daffy Duck Poncho Vanilla. I think we're gonna read Poncho Vanilla. Poncho Vanilla gang. Pancho Vanilla. 
Anybody remember this guy? Okay. Let's do, let's do. Warner Brothers Cartoon Inc. presents Little Poncho Vanilla. It is day before Christmas and still we have not found the Christmas tree, Poncho says. Christmas tree? Christmas trees are scarce around here, Poncho. But I have heard that such trees do grow in the mountains. In the mountains? Then let us go there, Poncho says. Yay! I had to open my beak, beak mouth. Mountain climbing is much like work. Er, uh, follow me, Pancho. We will go to a little mountain that is close by. A <laughs> little mountain. Famine Missa. Famine Missa. Papakito. Papakito is his name. Papakito. There's, there's no... There's no mountain. If there is a Christmas tree on it, who cares? Papakito says. Shortly, Org, you're climbing up. Last one on top is a bull's bull's uncle. There's a tree up here. Now we can go home and rest. What kind of a tree is it? <laughs> that is a Christmas tree? We only, we, with only one branch? Of course, who wants a Christmas tree that is uh, cluttered up with branches? Cluttered up with, with branches. Oh well, it will have to do, I guess. Oh, and they're cutting it down. Chop, chop. We, oui. I am glad I talked him into these trees. These tree. I am too tired to climb another mesa. Timber, bravo! He's clapping. What's going on here? Who's talking? Let's see if this will focus. No, oh, there we go. Choir up there. Yay! A talking stone? Pancho says. This place is haunted. He's running away. Look at that. That's a turtle. Let's check it out. Oh, what? Oh, this is where we find out who it was. Look at this. Look at this. That was a Papakito. Wait for me in the tree. Tree? Oh, yeah, the tree. Oh, yes, the tree. We can make the quick uh, go away on the tree. Papakito says. They're riding the tree down. Ha! Even a rolling stone could not catch us now. Yee! My poor Christmas tree. Oh, yeah. Pshh. Yawn. How terrible a nightmare. I dreamt that someone chopped down my hollow tree full of root. Uh oh. Eek! Someone did chop it down. Oh no. He took his tree. What's it doing living in a hole? Oh, he's mad now. He's mad now. Look at that. Look at that. 
and already they have escaped in a cloud of dust no one can do these things to me Chavez Ravine the bandito I will track them up and down ah that's why he was living in a hole he's a bandito he was hiding out later there now your tree is decorated <laughs> some ornament a ring a ring from a bull bull's nose that's their decoration come to bed Pancho and soon Senor Santa Claus will arrive with presents wait a minute Papa Papa Quito. wait a minute Papa Quito. first I'm going to warm up a nice pot of chili for Santa we will be he will be hungry after his long trip meanwhile hmm the trail of my tree leads to this hacienda to this hacienda let's see what the banditos up to curses the door is locked he says but I must get my loot out of the hollow tree oh he's got loot inside the hollow tree not roots loot loot inside the hollow tree let's see did he say that oh full of loot that someone chopped on my hollow tree full of loot ah he's a bandit hiding his loot in the hollow tree aha let's continue now that we know what's going on but i must get my loot out of the hollow tree hmm maybe i could squeeze down the chimney oh look at the smoke coming off the chimney ah santa claus is just in time the chili is nice and hot thump oh he put his foot in the chili ouch oh golly tamales golly tamales santa santa's foot slipped he landed in the chili oh, oh. what the ding dong is this ah, oh Santa does not sound very jolly tonight now to get my loot out of here say something is rotten in Chilevania Chilevania the Santa Claus does not have a red suit he is climbing up my Christmas tree very strange Santa Claus is is working in reverse he takes something out of my tree yow it is Chavez Ravine the bandito huh get off my <laughs> check this out get off my christmas tree you big fake santa claus you big fake santa claus oh stop rocking the rocking the trunk oh look at this he's knocking him off the tree oh my tree my beautiful tree is smash crash it's breaking the bandito is out cold then last week's torti 
out, out colder than that last week's tortillas but my christmas tree is ruined do not worry little pancho do not worry little pancho they got the loots they got the loots oh there's santa claus it's not the loot santa's here right on santa claus the real santa claus nice see and i will trade you this big bag of toys for that bandito i will then turn him over to the sheriff oh nice i notice you will also be needing another christmas tree poncho but senor claus there are no trees around here what's going on You have not been using your eyes, Pancho. Very special Christmas trees grow all over this country. Really? Come, I will help you choose one with many branches. Ah, look at this, it's a cactus. And so, so they brought over a cactus. so merry christmas santa claus nice and santa rides away adios pancho what happened to the bag of gold where is the loot at where is the loot at that was fun interesting bugs bunny looks a little different then uh he became a little slicker i think he was a little uh, chunkier early on porky pig looks the same bugs bunny's face is very is more cartoony than what i was used to seeing there's the chicken hawk elmer fudd we didn't see uh the gun wielding uh yosemite sam in this so i wonder when yosemite sam was created because you this is from 1954 there must have been yosemite sam before but fun little christmas read it's interesting taking a look at it and the book is really good shape really i would definitely give this a six 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 point five right aside from that uh that was great i'm going to turn on our notifications our camera uh, the artwork yeah was beautiful let me turn on the camera the artwork was beautiful really wow lots of chat the artwork was really nice i really liked it as well like and there's like hours of fun here uh, for reading right we read the first three stories and then one more and there's a whole bunch of other stories we didn't read right so and all the puzzle stuff they're not worked so this is great no pencils on them super fun super fun two readings on the weekend and can you guys hear the rain at times it was picking up Wow. Nice. Oh my god, sorry. I fell down a rabbit hole of CCP treachery, but I'm back. <laughs> the first two stories in this, seriously. We got Jeff Bezos trying to kill Santa Claus so he can sell more presents and make a ton of money, right? Uh they're trying to do a great reset on the story before that in the backwards world right you're crazy the rain is lovely the rain is lovely i love doing readings here really this is an amazing place just to sit down and get online and surf a little and, and do things uh so it's fun it's fun all hail <laughs> lord bezos mr isakaya how were you doing uh gang 
I'm gonna do tr try to do a live stream tomorrow okay an unannounced live stream uh, I might send out a little announcement today as soon as I know uh, we might do a math live stream tomorrow uh, unscheduled live stream uh, just because it's our third year anniversary on, of being uh, on twitch and in the live stream page I have on my on my channel uh, three year anniversary yeah uh, on the live stream page I have my website I have 400 plus videos listed on the YouTube playlist we have 300 plus videos listed so I don't know how many videos we have <laughs> live streams we've done but we've been on Twitch for three years now thank you Gawos thank you for being here so we've been live streaming on Twitch for three years so what we'll end up doing is uh, most likely do a, a math stream maybe we'll do a Q&A um, but math stream I think would be appropriate because mathematics is really uh, the thing that brought me to to do all this right yeah elder god thank you for noticing i hadn't noticed i hadn't noticed so thanks to elder god for pointing it out so the odds are we'll do a math stream maybe um anywhere between 10 starting around 10 or 11 in the morning most likely maybe around 10 30 uh, plus or minus an hour and just do a drop in math tutoring session Woo! <laughs> uh, and we'll we'll leave it there we'll do another math stream it's always fun to do a math stream why not right uh, i'd rather not do politics current events because uh, we've got another politics coming up this week later on um the cooking i'm not set up to do we could do a q a but q a is going to take us into the politics so i'd rather not do a politics one uh but math i'm always up for doing uh comic book reading we could do uh but i think mathematics is appropriate since we did two um comic book readings back to back can we have math in real life <laughs> math yeah uh, sure i'll have to arrange it but if you have anything in mind let's do it let's do math in real life we're not going to touch covid info oh god no way no how <laughs> we can't touch the stats on that level even mentioning it i know youtube algorithm is going to zap us right so let's go to discord uh, let me know what you guys would like to do math in real life and we can take a look at it if i have time to put it together we'll do <laughs> i'm surprised all the data we looked at regarding uh, that information is still up like I, I haven't checked it to see if any strikes are on it or whatnot or they've been taken down or their limited viewership or whatnot no elder god we want, we're not gonna touch the flu information <laughs> we'll just do straight up man <laughs> okay gang aside from that uh i hope you guys have a fantastic sunday if you're watching on the other side of the world i hope you're having a fantastic reduce heart attacks in 2020 <laughs> it's miraculous everything got cured right um, on the other side of the planet i hope you're having a fantastic monday i hope you're having a fantastic sunday evening monday morning uh whatever time zone you're in i hope you're having a fantastic day and if you can join us we're gonna do a math stream tomorrow we got cooking coming up on wednesday we're gonna do meditation on thursday and we're gonna do current events on friday i believe but we've got at least another four set up for this week gang uh mods thank you for taking care of business and aside from that if you want to support this work i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike if you want to support this work patreon is the great way to do so and you can follow the work and after a while if you do enjoy this work uh, and if you do have the means supporting this work through patreon is a great way to do so and for those of you who've been supporting this work through patreon thank you very much for your support we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for the raid earlier um i forget what the name was it was all capital letters but i can't remember it so thank you for thank you for the raid uh thank you for being here thank you for the subs 
thank you for the conversations and the, and the support and the love we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor lo minds vk gap and twitter and we do share additional information there as well and you can go to our twitch uh, page anytime you want and type in exclamation mark social and all the links will pop up and our discord link is there as well and we do have a discord page where a lot of people are sharing a lot of information yeah we had a raid come in earlier at the beginning of the stream uh, elder god with like 20 people or something so that was cool we will be uploading the audio for live streams that we do that don't have any visuals involved on soundcloud as podcast and those audio files those podcasts are available on you on spotify and itunes my pleasure cheryl thank you very much for all the work you guys put in as well and we will be uploading this video to both bitshoot and youtube and if you want to support this work you want to follow this work you can subscribe there follow turn on notifications link share like and if you're on youtube you can join youtube membership and for those of you who've joined youtube membership thank you very much for the support gang i'll see you guys tomorrow or later on this week if you can join us bye everyone